Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog and today I woke up a little late. Let me show you guys the time. It is 8.01 right now. Okay guys, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get dressed because I'm gonna run to the park. I realized that I wanted a change of, you know, of a uh, working out environment. I no longer wanna go to the gym. Instead, I wanna go on these runs where I get excited about uh, running. And I wanted to bring you guys along because it sucks that when I go to the gym, I can't really talk to you guys like I'm talking to you guys right now. I have to uh, use a microphone. But I want to go and take you guys on my run to the park. So let's go ahead and do that. I just need to change because I'm in my pajamas. All right, guys. So this is exactly what I ended up changing into. And this is my workout clothes. Let's go for a run. This is how I make my coffee. I make it in a cold press. A French press. I said cold press. That doesn't make any sense. It's a French press. It's all right. You know, I mostly do it just to get the energy inside of me. But look how dark it is. Okay, I'm going to try to pour this with one hand. Wish me luck. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh, no, please don't do that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> please don't do that again. Damn it, dripped. Dripped all over the uh, table. <coughs> Guys, so I was supposed to bring weights today, um, 20 pound uh, dumbbells, but since I'm running late, I'm only gonna run, and this is my first time doing it, so I really just wanna get comfortable, and that's what I'm going there for. Uh, yeah. Guys, I made it to the park. I finally made it to the park. And there's some crack in here on the corner. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my run. I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket. In my pocket, isn't there a song like that? In my pocket, in my pocket. I don't know. Sounds like sounds familiar. Yeah, but I'm gonna be running here at the park here. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the scenery because how beautiful it looks. Look at all the green. Oh, look at all the green stuff. Don't you just make it makes me want to run here. Um, there's a bunch of cars here. It notifies me that I'm not alone. Look how lonely and green it is. There's like literally no one here, and it looks so gorgeous because of the rain. Look at that, it looks so beautiful. You guys can barely see me, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start my run uh, when I reach the cement and I'm gonna start parking it. I don't have much time because I gotta get to school in like, uh, maybe like a half an hour, but um, I have to drive there and, and it's like a 20 minute drive. So I'm gonna start my run before it gets too late. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's someone on a scooter all the way over there. That's pretty sick, he's riding a scooter at the park. An electric scooter. I like this little guy. It's another little guy. These guys are always getting fed. That's why they're fat. <laughs> Damn. I haven't ran in a while, so I feel pretty heavy. You runners will know what I mean. But I feel like I weigh a lot. And that's because my legs aren't used to running. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get this exercise in. Look at that, I got flooded. That is a baseball field. It's a baseball field, look at all that. It was raining yesterday and it was pouring, that's why the baseball field is like that. It's crazy to think that these people will live the rest of their lives on repeat every fucking day, but yet they're scared to die. Like some people want to live for eternity, but imagine being a battery that lives on repeat every day. I'd rather die than to live on repeat every day. Repeat the same day every day. Good. I'm out of breath right now. I just got done with my exercise. It was not that easy. Since I haven't ran in a while, I struggled a little bit. And I also have to use the bathroom, but I'm going to wait till I get home. I'm not going to use it here. Because these are gross. And that's nasty. And I feel vulnerable. But I'm out of breath. I need to get some water in me. Alright, I'm going to end up heading to school. And you guys will see me there. And yeah, pretty much had a good workout in. Good run. I'm going to do this again soon, tomorrow. Next time, I'm going to bring the weights. So funny, there's just a Rolls Royce right there chilling and then there's my car I'm so dehydrated right now I forgot to bring water I didn't bring water today so I gotta make sure to bring water next time because 
I'm just really sweaty right now. And I should bring a towel as well. I came unprepared today. Guys, I'm getting here just on time, but I gotta hurry because it's 9.35 and my class is at 9.35. So I literally have to run to get there. All right, guys, so I just ended up getting out of class and now I'm heading home and class was easy. Guys, I'm gonna go on spring break next up uh, this upcoming week and once I come back, I have an exam to take. So that's the only downfall. I get a rest, but it's nice because throughout spring break, I can study. But now I'm heading home. Actually, when I get home, a package should have arrived. I bought a new lens for the A6700 and I'm excited. It's gonna be, I bought the 18 to 50 millimeter lens from Sigma and I'm excited to like have it in my hands and use it. And I've heard it, I've heard good things about it. I've heard it's light, so I'm going, can't wait to use it. Can't wait to use it when I really, I can't wait to put it on my camera. Guys, I don't know. If, oh man, I can't zoom in, but I don't know if you guys could see that car. It was like the, uh, what is that? That one movie with the mouse? Or is it Rat? Or Stuart Little. Stuart Little. The little car he drives. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna have to zoom in. Hold on. Let me try to zoom in as much as possible. Oh, we're moving. Oh, that's as far as I could go. Oh man, hold on. We'll see if I can pass it by. Guys, sadly, I didn't have a chance to show you guys the car. Also, I think my package is here because I just saw the uh, Amazon driver. So he might be delivering the package right now. Yes. So right now, all I have to do is wait for him to knock on the door and then I get to go get my package. <laughs> Which is funny. He's like right outside. It'd be, it would suck if he marks it as undelivered. Because he's literally like right outside. Also, think about shaving this beard because I'm looking kind of like scrumptious. It looks scrubby and I don't like that. It looks kind of dirty. Uh, I'm planning on shaving it. I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments below. Because it just doesn't grow out like I want it to. It's not full. But yeah, I look kind of like a homeless person. Like a homeless crackhead. I like got a new pan in which I'm able to cook these eggs on. So look how they look. They look flat at the bottom. It only happens when I let them overcook. Guess what guys, it says my package got delivered. And there's a photo. Let's see. Let's see. And it did, there it is. My package is here. I can hear it inside. Y'all could hear it inside. In the meantime, I just gotta let this turkey bacon cook till it becomes crispy. I gotta flip it actually. Alright, three, two, one. There we go. I gotta flip all of them so they can all be equally crispy. You hear that sizzle? Gotta put them as close as I can to each other. All right guys, so after I'm done eating, this package is gonna be opened up. I just gotta eat first because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. This is what I got going on is the non-fat yogurt. Oh, what is it? Trek mix, mango, banana, and then the turkey bacons and eggs. Same thing as always. I'm just gonna eat that and then, you know, I'm gonna open that package after. All right guys, so it's time to open up the package. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but let me get my knife. So here's my knife. Got it in hand. Got it in my hand. Here's the box. Oh, I don't want to show you guys my house, so I'm uh, should I open it this way? Yeah, I probably should. And then I'm gonna grab my camera, which is this one. I'll grab it afterwards, but I'll leave it right here. And I'm just gonna open this on the floor. This isn't like a uh, what do you call it? Like a you know, tech channel, this is just me opening up my gear. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything, I'm trying to get you guys to buy anything. Um, yeah, maybe I should lower this a little bit more. So that way, that way we're eye level and we can see each other. So here, I don't know if you guys like seeing this box opening, but you guys can hear that. <laughs> I'm excited guys. I'm really ex I'm really am excited to see this. I heard it's small. Like really small and light. Oh, it does feel light. So this is it, the 18 to 50 millimeter 
uh, 2.8 and it's supposed to be great under low light which is a bonus for me that's what I need um, this lens was around five hundred dollars so it's it's kind of it's pricey at least for me because I don't have a full-time job but it's not as expensive as a full frame lens and for what it gives you it's a pretty budget friendly lens which is crazy I think that $500 is not a lot when it comes to lenses and look how small this is oh this is so cute this looks like a toy I was going to get the uh, Tamron 17 to 70 just because it's it's I wanted that 17 millimeter but I have a 16 millimeter Sigma lens so if I really wanted to go down to such a wide angle I could just switch lenses I mean that's why I have a 16 millimeter 1.4 um, yeah so that's the reason why I didn't go with the uh, 17 to 70 it would be equivalent to 27 of 105 and I thought that was cool as well and it came with image stabilization but the thing was that it was like 18.6 grams or 18.5 grams heavy and I did not want to be carrying around a, such a big lens you know it's so heavy and it weighs so much and this is nearly the, the same amount when it comes to uh, focal lengths so I was like, I might as well just get this one because this one is so much smaller. Uh, it's not such a hassle having to carry it everywhere. And this is why I got the 6700 because it's a small frame camera and it's not meant to be heavy. It's meant to be carried around. Um, yeah, so I didn't, well, I wasn't going to be behind the camera. I was going to be in front of the camera. And for that, I need a light lens because I'm going to be carrying it like this. But then I also have this camera, which is the Osmo Pocket 3. So it was kind of it was kind of hard to decide what I wanted because I have a camera which I am facing in front of. I could use the Osmo Pocket 3, and then this one could be one where I'm like behind the camera and taking pictures and stuff like that. But it's like. What am, what is really my goal? Well, my goal is to be in front of the camera, and I did not want to be carrying a big lens, a big 18 gram lens like this. My hand would just, my shoulder would give out, my arm would be dead in like 20 minutes. So that's why I got this one. So this is the kit lens, and then this is the uh, the uh, 18 to 50, which is so small. And I'm about to uh, install this. Here, I got it comes with a hood as well. If you guys did not know, or if you guys wanted to know, it comes with a lens hood. I put these on. I don't know what the purpose of this is really. I never understood it, but I just put it on to protect my lens because I wouldn't want it. Like in case it were to fall, my camera were to fall. Like I would hope this would at least protect it. I know it's supposed to help not have so much uh light distortion i think that's what the hood lens is really meant for but i don't know let me know in the comments below um so i'm gonna be putting this on here and i, I enjoy the kit lens if you guys don't know the kit lens is actually really good when it comes to the a6700 uh i did not think it was gonna be that good but it is really good and it's light so i do like it i just prefer something of better quality but you guys could get started with the kit lens if you guys wanted to and i highly recommend it actually because it's super light and it's only hundred dollars if you were to break this you could easily replace it with another hundred dollar lens but i wanted something bigger and better because i've been doing this for a while so you know it's time to upgrade and i kind of want to have something reliable and it's and lenses are meant to last. I'm invested in this, so it really is meant to last. I'm going to be keeping this for a while, but I understand if you're just starting out, you're going to want to start out with the kit lens. Um, look at this, guys. So cute. It's so small, and it's so light as well. And then here's the, here's the kit lens. Just keep it in comparison. Like This is the comparison when it comes to this. Look at that. Here, hold on. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
Yeah, that's the comparison. So it's not even heavy at all, which is cool. I can guarantee you guys from now on, I'm using this lens because it's so sharp and it's so light. And that's what I like. I wanted something small and light and versatile and I'm able to take it wherever I want. And that's why I have the Osmo Pocket 3 and that's why I use this thing the most because it's so light and it, I'm able to position it in so many ways, capture these shots in so many different positions. And it's just expensive when you get into stuff like this and you need all this gear. You don't really need all this gear, but it is nice to have. It helps when you're creating and it helps expand. It helps you do more. Like it helps make stuff easier. It simplifies everything. Oh, I'm so lucky to be able to have this. And I just want to say I'm grateful for being able to have this. But yeah, guys, so expect more videos coming from this camera. And yeah, I'm going to be filming with this from now on. This is going to be my go-to lens because it's just simple and easy to carry. And I really needed a zoom lens because I do not have one. I only have the kit lens. And the kit lens is great. I just prefer something sharper when I'm making these cinematic uh, shots. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do an unboxing. Where are you going? We're going to Korean barbecue. This is a place, Janchi Korean barbecue. It's like right around the corner. Looks kind of suspicious. Watch your step, don't fall. It's this place right here. This is the place, Janchi Korean barbecue. I can smell it from outside. You can literally smell this place from outside, and it looks kind of empty. Oh, it's just the both of us. But they had good reviews, so they can't. You can't really say this is a bad place. Guys, so we ate at the restaurant. You know how that goes. The food was delicious. Ate some Korean glass noodles. Uh, my girlfriend got some teriyaki chicken, which was so good. I forgot to take a video of it. I should have taken a video of it. I don't know why I didn't. I guess it gets so distracted when I'm eating that I forget to film my foods, man. I gotta make sure I gotta film these foods in order for you guys to see this. And now I personally got a uh, chili shrimp. It was an appetizer. I wasn't feeling like eating uh, all out um, Korean barbecue. I know that it's fucking delicious. It is the best, but I just wasn't as hungry. But the food we got was delicious. I'm back home. I'm doing some homework. You know, I just hung out with my girlfriend for a little bit just to get some homework done. Basically like a study day. It was like a study date. And now I just got a, got a freaking quiz to do. It's late at night. I'm glad that today is the day that I finish all my homework. And I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. So that's a plus for me, for this guy. Anyways, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go. Because I just have to really study i got a couple more um a little bit more homework to do and then i'm going to read probably show you a little bit of that and then i'm gonna head to bed guys because i'm gonna knock out soon i'm just tired but yeah guys thank you guys for watching and what else do i have to say pretty much i uh, just to recap but next time i gotta make sure i gotta film these things because i forget and I gotta film my life because I am trying to vlog. I am a vlogger now. I gotta vlog my entire life and document it to you guys because you guys are interested. You guys gotta remind me. One last assignment and I'm finished with all my work. Just one more and I'm done. All right guys, so you guys already know I'm always eating this. Let me show you guys. I got a non-fat yogurt, the almonds, the nut trek mix, whatever. And uh, what else do I have in here? Bananas, two bananas. I ran out of mango, so no mango in here today. Honestly, this is the only thing I enjoy eating throughout the day because everything else is just kind of like bland. I'm eating a ground beef or ground turkey or ground chicken, and that stuff is bland with broccoli. Broccoli is good, but after you eat this food every day, it just kind of gets bland. And this has like little cranberries, so I enjoy eating these because it, it, it really satisfies my sweet tooth. And I need this. I need something sweet throughout the day or else I'm not. I'm hungry and I'm craving stuff. And this satisfies my cravings. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then finish this last assignment. I'm almost done. I just need one more and then I'm done. But it's always hard to get through when you know you're almost done. It's always hard to finish at the finish line. But when you're almost there, it's the best.
because then it hurries you to get stuff done. Okay, I should stop talking. You guys, look at the time. It's 10.39, and I'm almost done with my entire food. That's what I have left. All right, I finally got done with the last assignment. Now all I have to do is read, but that's personal entertainment. And yeah, that's entertaining for me. I like to read. Don't judge me. I can hear you guys judging me from behind the screen. I do enjoy reading. Reading is good for you. You learn something new every day, and you gotta learn something new, or else you're gonna stay the same. I'm usually reading like the basics, like the basic stuff, stuff people recommend, like the most popular things, because that's all I know. Um, if I'm gonna buy a book, especially right now, I don't have a lot of money. I don't want to take a risk on a book that I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. So. I don't take risks in that way. Instead, I buy a book that I know has good ratings and people recommend. And this one had like a, a ton of ratings, a ton of good ratings. So that's why I have this one. And so far, I love it. I'm learning so much how to live a happier life. Ikigai, I don't know if that's how you say it, but it talks about life and how people have um, some sort of passion in their life and they work hard towards it. And then living in the present helps eating healthy helps eating like solid foods like protein stuff like that which is crazy um that helps and it also talks about yeah passion about people who follow their passion and just work every day on their passion and they're so excited to wake up every day and just do that one thing which is awesome and it's just more perspective you know it's seeing stuff outside my own box which is pretty cool so I'm going to finish reading this book and then I'm going to go to bed because it is 1039 and I got to wake up early to exercise. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the park like I said. I'm going to be hitting the park doing a couple push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups and that might be cold so I'm going to take a sweater. I'm going to get to reading though. Alright guys, it's going to be the end of my night. I'm finishing up my yoga that I do not finish. It's going to be my end of my night. I wish you guys all well. Hope you guys all had a good one. And this is it for me. I'm going to hit the hashtag because I am so tired right now. I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to knock out after I finish the sugar in my mouth. But I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Whoa!